Linking nether portals really is an amazing transportation method in Minecraft. You see that yellow nether portal all the way out there? Yeah, instead of running there in survival, I could literally, literally just do this. Run through one portal right here, run a couple blocks this way, jump through this portal, and come out through the other portal. Way over here, we travel this many blocks that quickly. Nether portal is one of the best ways of transportation in Minecraft. Let's get into how to link these up. Okay, so first we have to go over a few basics on how coordinates work in the overworld and the nether. So the first thing you want to do is go to your settings, and you're going to want to turn on show coordinates, which is right here in general, in, in the game settings. And now we got to get into how the coordinates work. So the thing about the overworld and the nether is that one spot in the overworld also correlates to a spot in the nether. So where I'm standing right now at 476, 36, there's a spot in the nether that correlates to right here. Well, how may you find that spot, you might ask? Well, the next thing you need to know is that every single block you travel in the nether is you actually traveling eight blocks in the overworld. So say you're in the nether, you're in the nether, right? And you travel one block, that's the equivalent of you traveling eight blocks in the overworld. And that's why this travel is so quick, because it's literally eight times quicker. So if you're in the nether and you walk three blocks, you've actually walked like 24 blocks in the overworld. So it's crazy fast, it's crazy efficient. Okay, so maybe this isn't making much sense yet. Well, let me show you. If we walk over to my nether portal over here, and you look at my coordinates, it says 473 and 34. We know that each block in the overworld is eight blocks in the nether. So if we divide 473 by 34, we get 59 and we get five. And if we conveniently jump through this portal, you'll notice that we get teleported to the nether. And if you look at our coordinates, they say 59, five. I guess 58.5, but basically 59.5, which means that this spot in the nether represents that spot in the overworld. Likewise, if we walk over to this other nether portal, which I use the transportation, we look at our coordinates, they're 50 and 17, and if we take 50 and 17, multiply them by 8 instead of dividing, we'll get 396 and 141, because this spot right here correlates to that spot down in the nether. So I'm just going to show you guys how to build this right now. Maybe it's still confusing. Let's get into it. Okay, so I have one goal in life. I want to get from here, this platform right here, to that little beach over there, only using nether portal transportation. That's my goal in life. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And before I show you how to do this, you might want to break all the nether portals on your world because that can break it. Okay, so once you got all your portals broke, you want to go into the overworld where you want to place your nether portal. So this could be by your house, by your friend's house, wherever you want to go. This will be the first portal that you want to link up. So just build your nether portal like normal. It could be right by your house. It could be wherever, any height. And after you build it, you want to hop onto the interior like this, and you want to take note of those coordinates. So my coordinates, you just want to look at the first one and the third one. My first one is 76, and my last one is negative 250. You want to write those down. Let's see, 76, negative 250. So I got those written down, and then what you want to do is you want to light the portal up. Now, once you light the portal up, you're just going to want to simply jump through, and you're going to be taken to a random spot in the nether. This is not correlating to the place where your nether portal is in the overworld. It's just going to take you to a random spot. And what you actually want to do is break the nether portal that you just created by teleporting. Just break this one, get the obsidian off it, because we're building a different portal. So now that the portal's gone, I want to look at those two coordinates that I wrote down earlier, 76 and negative 250 in the overworld. What I want to do is I want to take both those coordinates and divide them by 8. Again, we're doing this because one block in the nether is equal to 8 blocks traveled in the overworld. So take your first two numbers, mine were 76 and negative 250, and divide them by 8. Okay, so while you're doing your math, make sure you count for the negatives. If it's a negative number, keep it negative and just divide it by 8. So my two numbers, 76 divided by 8 is equal to 9.5, and negative 250 divided by 8 is equal to negative 31.25. So now that I have those two numbers, what I want to do is I want to find those two numbers in the nether. Okay, so my first number is 9.5, so I'm just going to round that up to 10, so I want to find 10. 10 is right here. And then I want to find negative 31.25, which I'm just going to round down to negative 31. So then you want to find negative 31, which would be this way. And this might be tough. We have a long road ahead of us. I mean, I kind of got the sketchy draw, but once you get out here, as you see, my coordinates are now 10, negative 31, which is where we want to be. Once you get that coordinate down, you just want to place your nether portal. So there we go. Again, I have my nether portal placed at 10, negative 31, which are my two coordinates. Next, you just want to simply light the portal and then jump through it. And as you can see, you'll be taken back to the mainland portal that you made first. These two portals will now be linked up if Minecraft Bedrock ever loads this game mode. It's terrible. And then you'll see that you came out the first portal that you made. And that's because if we look at our coordinates again, 77, negative 251, and then if we jump through the portal, you'll see that you come out, those numbers divided by eight. So yeah, we're at 10, negative 32, and that links up to the overworld nether portal. So we got one portal down, let's go get the other one. So go back into the overworld and then go to the other location where you want your second nether portal to be. This could be your friend's house, this could be the shopping center, this could be anything in the world. Go to where you want your second portal. And I'm going to place mine right here. And then what you want to do is you want to build the portal. Bro, that dolphin is broke. Okay, so once you have your second portal done, what you want to do is you want to hop into it and again, show the coordinates. 189, negative 225 are my coordinates. You want to write those down, just like last time. 189. Negative 225. Again, make sure you keep the negatives in there. That is very important. But anyways, once you got those coordinates written down, just light the portal up and then jump through it. And you will come out the other portal that you made earlier. But that's all good. That's all good. That's perfect. Because what you want to do from this portal is you want to go and take those two numbers that you just wrote down and divide them by eight. 
and then find those coordinates in the nether. Okay, so in my case, I have the numbers 189 and negative 225. So 189 divided by 8 is 23.625, and negative 225 divided, divided by 8 is negative 28.125. So what we have to do is go find those coordinates in the nether. So let's go find them. So our first number is 23.625, so I'm just going to round that up to 24. So let's go find 24 in the first number, which is way over here, or way over here. Keep going, keep going, we're at 20. Right there, there's 24, and then we want our second number to be negative 28.125, which will round out to negative 28. So you want to find negative 28, which is going to be this way, over all this lava. Okay, so I made the pillar out there, and as you see, if we walk this pillar out here, you'll see that we get to 24, negative 28. And that's where we want to be, so then again, just place your portal down right here. And then literally, just place your portal down just like that, light it up, and then this will in fact take you to the second portal that you made in the overworld, because it linked up that portal to the second portal you built and just like that if it ever loads if minecraft bedrock ever loads we will come out through the second portal we built you'll notice that you came out the second portal that you made now i'm going to mark these portals so this one will be the yellow portal and then as you can see my other portal is literally right there so i'm just going to build a build a little staircase up to it okay so once we climb the staircase we'll go up to our first portal that we made and we'll mark that one the red one and then we'll jump through there and that will take us to the first portal that we made in the overworld which we will also mark as the red one and there you go you got the you got the portals linked up so if you go through the red one You'll come out through the red one, and if you want to go back and go down through the yellow one, make the parkour jump, that was epic, you'll come out through the yellow one, just like just like that. And there you go, they're linked up, because again, you just take the coordinates in the overworld and divide them by 8, and place a nether portal in the nether at those coordinates, and then it'll link them up. It's that simple, and that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do with link nether portals. And it's literally 8 times faster of transportation, so it's very, very useful, it's very helpful, and it's a great way to transport stuff around in Minecraft for sure. And for a little bit of further explanation on how this works, that nether portal over there is 110 blocks this way. And because we know for every one block we travel in the nether, we travel 8 blocks in the overworld, we should travel about 13 blocks this way in the nether because that is 110 divided by 8. So let's test that theory out. So we come through this portal, come out the other side, and then we, and we take a couple steps this way, and we should be traveling about 13 blocks that way because that would be 110 blocks in the overworld. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then that's where another portal is. And then it's a couple blocks this way because it's a few more blocks the other way in my in the, in the overworld. And then we hop through this portal. That's pretty much it. It's just eight blocks faster. It's so quick. It's so efficient. Hopefully you all understand. If you have questions, leave it down in the comments below. But that's pretty much how you link up nether portals. And again, it's not going to load because Minecraft Bedrock is absolutely terrible. Okay, so there you go. That's how you link up nether portals. I've completed my lifelong goal. I linked up this nether portal right here to that one over there. My life's work is done. I've linked up nether portals. We're all good. And remember, just make your first portal, write the coordinates down, find those coordinates in the nether by dividing these coordinates by eight. Make your first portal, link it up, then go to your second coordinates, measure those coordinates, place a portal down over there, and then go into the nether, and then make another nether portal with those coordinates over there divided by eight. It's it's kind of a lot to understand. I mean, I guess once you get once you get a hang of it, it's really not that difficult. And of course, make sure you account for negatives. If you don't do negatives, it won't work. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. I hope you're gonna be able to transport around your worlds a lot faster. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been Spinny with another Minecraft tutorial. Peace out, everybody.